A local veteran has been honored with two prestigious awards from a former president. Jim Guest was honored with the President's Lifetime Achievement Award and the President's Volunteer Service Award Tuesday night at Bourbon Patriots and Veterans. Both awards came with a letter from President Barack Obama addressed to Guest. Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes read the letter. By order of the President, congratulations on receiving the President's Volunteer Service Award, and thank you for helping to address the most pressing needs in your community. And in our country. In my inaugural address, I stated that we need a new era of responsibility, a recognition on the part of every American that we have duties to ourselves, our nation, and our world. These are duties that we do not grudgingly accept, but rather seize gladly, firm in the knowledge that there is nothing so satisfying to the spirit than giving all our all to a difficult task. Your volunteer service demonstrates the kind of commitment to your community that moves America a step closer to its greatest promise. Our nation faces the most challenging economic crises in a lifetime. We will only renew America if we all work together. Individuals, the private sector, and government must combine efforts to make real and lasting change so that each person has the opportunity to fulfill his or her potential. While government can open more opportunities for us to serve our communities, it is up to each of us to seize those opportunities. Thank you for your devotion to service and for doing all you can to shape a better tomorrow for our grateful nation. President Barack Obama. Guest served in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. He told WBRT the awards were very much a surprise. Totally unexpected, and that、uh, I strongly suspect totally unearned because I don't think I've done a great deal more than a good many other people. You get、uh, asked the same questions all the time. Why did you keep serving after you retired? Well, the answer to that is very simple: you don't retire; you just keep serving. So, as long as I can help people, I'll be there. Tuesday night marked the first event for Bourbon Patriots and Veterans. Colonel Brian Wurzler with Kentucky National Guard was the special guest speaker of honor. Ladies of Liberty provided the entertainment. The events coordinator, Dr. Pete Trezop, explains how it all finally came together. Well, you always have to start off with an idea, and Charlie Greenwell wanted to do a, an event that we could bring veterans together and, and people who support veterans. So that was the starting idea. And then once you get that rolling, you start getting people together. And the way we did it was, is we've done so much work locally, state, and nationally, and internationally that we could bring all these resources together. Meaning, the state home said we're going to donate the location because of the flagpole project. And we had Bob Pyle, who's a veteran who wants to cook for free. And we had、uh, Kentucky Monthly want to advertise for free. And you know, all these people came together in order to donate things so we can truly put the most money back into veterans. And then once you start putting the pieces together, then you got to get the silent auction. You got to get the speakers, and it's just it, it all falls together very quickly.、Uh, also, when you do programs like with Boy State, we were able to bring in Secretary Grimes and State Senator Max Weiss and Colonel Wetzler. You know, all these people understand our programs, and they also understand our volunteers are just that. They give their time, so it's very easy to put things together if you do the work and show people that you're legitimate and real about what your goals are.、Mm-hmm. As an independent event, it was eight years in the making. Well, it's a relief. You know, there's only some moving parts, right? You gotta obviously we have the ceremony. We also have the food. The food is always the most stressful part because you know it's、um, you got to cook and everything there in that team. But that's a moving part you can't control. But it's nice because now you start seeing people come together. Uh, and what the nice part is, is you have patriots, meaning supporters of veterans, and veterans, and they all come together. And I think that's what's missing in a lot of events, is that veterans we get thanked every day for our service, 
But what's more important is veterans need to start th saying thank you to good Americans because they, they respect us, they trust us, they give us a lot of power, and they give us very good living at the end of the day. And they actually give us, it's almost embarrassing when people thank you so much. So it's time for veterans to start saying thank you, and this event allows us to do that with patriots. And WBRT was recognized for its support of veterans. Since February, local community scene brings in local veterans once a month to share their stories. WBRT is proud to support our troops and the red, white, and blue. Bourbon Patriots and Veterans was a sold-out event. All proceeds go to American Legion Post 42 in Bardstown. Trizop said the event will happen again in 2018. Sylvia Horlander, WBRT News.